I very much hope that it's the story that grips people and all guys style and panache and the fantastic you know stunt and sword work and action that you know Mikey and Eunice have done all contribute to making that story come fully and viscerally alive they probably have to change locations every two or three months because their hideouts found out. Um, and they are at this moment searching um, in earnest for young Arthur, who they hope will be their salvation before Vortigern builds his mage tower and takes over the no most of the known civilized world. The thing I couldn't have guessed about Guy was his calm, was his sort of... Um, it's not shyness at all, because he's confident, but it's a, it's a watchfulness and observing nature, an exacting nature that is so fascinating and makes him a kind of, you know, you want to watch him as much as he's obviously watching you. But, uh, you know, he, he put me at my ease straight away, poured me a nice large glass of chilled Puy Fisse. We sat back, we talked mostly about, you know, the, uh, the hobbies that we, we have in common. Not much about the film. I asked how big the war elephants were going to be, and he said, pretty bloody big. And that was that. <laughs> he was, a, you know, a mystery to me, really. I didn't know what to expect. And I can only say he's led the company in the way that a leader of a company should, in the most professional, you know, friendly and talented manner that I, one could ever wish from a leading man. Are you, you know... Um, immediately I felt so um, so welcomed by him and then I've watched him I've watched him work for now two months and he's got such a grasp of the character and such um, dedication to getting it right from every sword move sword thrust to every little speech and you know conversation he has with Guinevere it's really impressive he does an awful lot with very little so